Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. You may notice something on the right side of my screen. It's Gabby. Yay! Hello. Um. So yeah. So this is my base, Gabby. Uh, you can make yourself a nice hammer over here. Uh, we got plenty of materials over here in these horribly unorganized chests. We have effectively infinite iron thanks to this little contraption over here. It breaks the oh, cobble, mills it to gravel, and then washes it. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's slow. We can speed it up later. Uh, the main thing you're going to want to interact with is over here. Oh, one second. Oh, no problem. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, stop. So, this chest, you put anything you want smelted in. It drops okay. it there. If you want to wash something, you stick it in here. I don't have anything to wash. And if you want to well, smoke, wash it, uh, you can look it up in... Look at the uses of the create fan. And it's okay, well, you're like... Same okay. thing, and this one is for smoking. It's got some okay. baked potatoes in there for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll take half of what's in there. Yeah. Oh, you can take it all. I've got. I've got a stack on me. Oh. Oh. Okay. I didn't know if you had any. I'll no, you're fine. Thing. You're fine. But uh, today, what I kind of want to do is. Oh, by the way, I got. You may be wondering how I got green dye if I don't have cactus. Uh, the answer to that is you can mill rose bushes in order to make uh, green dye, which I did. Oh, and the nice. reason why I have this green dye. So I can grab a piece of bone meal, turn it into lime dye, and turn that lime dye into a slime ball. Oh, nice. Yeah, you use dough. Hmm. Ooh. No, I don't want the fruit. I want the seeds. I used to have a little farm in front of the house. It's now above the house, I say, very loosely. Right. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, and today, we're going to work on automating that farm. What you making for um, yourself? Oh, I'm making a hammer. Oh, nice. Are you doing it out of flint? Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'm about to do... We have infinite flint. I do not care. No, it's... I would rather have the head be out of stone. Yeah. Uh, we, have, we have infinite stone. Handle out of plant. Uh, I ran out of patterns, I assume. Yeah, that's what just that wooden sticks. I have all the wood right now, so let me hand some over to you. There, that should be enough. Okay. All right. Is it just like the four? Yep. Hammer. That's not a hammer. Is it vein hammer? No, you want the sledgehammer, I think. Vein hammer uh, does vein yeah. running. Sledgehammer does. Oh, we can interact at the same time. That's weird. Um, you might want to just get a regular pick for yourself, because that because right now I've got a sledgehammer, and I don't think we need much in the way of not precision mining. We don't need bulk mining at the moment. That'll be for between episodes, mostly. Yeah. But yeah, so... Got a little farm up here. Do we have paper? Uh, we got... Yes. We've got a uh, sugar cane outside. I will do the binding of the paper. I don't think you can do that anymore. You can't? No. Oh. Okay, then I will do the binding out of this first. Do we got bone? Oh no. That. Uh, I would not do bone for your for your hammer. No, I'm saying the binding. Yeah. The repair material is still going to be stone. Oh, I, I would just do it all stone. Honestly. Well, then you get uh, Cheapskate, which is... A I don't think you get that anymore. I don't... Okay. Okay. 
So yeah, so what my viewers are seeing right now is me putting down some linear chassis, which, and then hooking up harvesters to them, which we will use to harvest all this jazz. And then nice. these portable storage interfaces are very handy and very dandy. Um, what they do is they let you access storage without having to stop a contraption. I'll come over in a minute to see what you're talking about. Uh, yep. I keep no messing worries. up materials. That's making this take longer. <laughs> How familiar are you with Create, Gabby? Not very. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. It, it's it's a crazy fun mod. Just because it's not, it's not a magic box mod. It is entirely like you built it. It's not yeah. just slap a machine down and you're done. You've got to build these contraptions. Can I still put a diamond on my... We do not have a lot of I... diamonds. I would not. I would not put a diamond on there. You can. Well, then I then I would be able to mine anything. I I don't know if it would still let you mine anything. I know it upgrades your durability and attack damage, but I don't think it lets you mine anything. Um, let me look, because I think it'll show you before you accept we don't have the upgrade. right word for diamond. You don't have the right what? What? Yeah, it does. It upgrades your mining level to diamond. Oh, okay. That's that's a worthwhile expenditure. Yeah. I'll slap one of those on my hammer. I I would double check on the hammer, but it definitely does on the. Oh, no, it, and it upgrades the time, the speed too, which is nice. All right. Yeah. Uh, you want to sleep through the night so you can set your spawn point? Oh yeah. Yeah. Ow. Why did you take damage? Because there's a block right here. Oh, okay. So it looks like we're going to need some more wood. You want to try out the lump, the broad axe? Uh, sure. I don't have one, but okay. Now you do. So the broad axe is pretty nice. Um, it chops, you go to the bottom chunk of the tree, the bottom block, and yeah. then you just let her rip. Okay. Uh, don't right-click it, though. That'll strip the whole tree. Alright, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple of water mills. Water mills. So I just water. Water water chopped wheel. on all these? Uh, we could use the wood. We're going to want to automate wood sooner rather than later, but I don't know how yet. Because there, there's a lot of stuff we're going to need to automate. And I just, I don't know how we're going to do it. So we're going to have to figure it out. That's very fun. Yeah. Alright, so, water wheel. We're going to want a decent chunk of these. Oh! I was I missed that we had a whole stack of spruce wood. That's useful. That That is very handy. Well, now we got more to start. Yay! Thank you, Gabby. <laughs> I don't know how these were, but what this is how I'm placing them. What did you do? Well, I'm replanting. Oh. Uh, I have it... In just a square uh, around it. If you don't plan it the same way I had it, it does not matter. They're trees. Big grew big tree. That's what. Oh, that's fine. You can cut it cut it all down in one fell swoop as well. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want your magic axe back? Uh, put it in the tools chest. That's like the one thing I have organized. We'll figure this door out. <laughs> Fool's chest. I don't. 
Uh, it's it's in the front area, like the little the little bit. Oh oh. Why don't I have buckets in there? I have buckets. I just don't have them in there. Huh. Because we're going to need buckets for these water pools. I will find my bucket. Okay, I found my bucket. Thank God. What should I be doing? Um, do you, so let's start... Because I got the, uh, I got the harvesters set up, but they currently need rotational fours. And that's where the water wheels come in. Okay. So you see these, these linear chassis over here that I'm standing on? Yeah. That's what's going to be harvesting these doodads and these hingmajoos and these okay. hullabaloos. Uh, we need to power them from what's underneath this linear chassis, right down there. But in order to do that, we first need to set up the water wheels. So I'm going to clear out some some space. Oh, did you just give me the wood? Yeah. Thanks. And I have a lot of water wheels. Like, I've got 11 of these bad boys. I'm not sure we'll need all 11. I'm just going to do 8 for now. But, uh, we got water. And wheels. Commonly known as water wheels. Apparently, you can do a thing with soul sand to make them extra efficient. We don't have access to soul sand right now. So, we're just going to do regular buckets. Oh, yeah, the soul sand would push the water up, so... Yeah. Oh, did you loot the chest by the nether portal? I don't think you did. Mm-mm. There's a... There's a... Uh, uh, a broken-down nether portal near... near spawn. That's worth exploring because that will net you stuff. Because it, it has the special mod where you... where you don't have... To, where... Uh, everybody gets their own unique loot. Okay, I spawned right. Yeah, get. Yeah, uh, right we can handle that later if you want. You can okay. Get, because there's there was like some gold. There's a gold sword, a gold apple. Nothing too crazy for me, but uh, definitely handy stuff. All right, so now the water wheels are flowing, and we can access their rotational power. We use that with stuff like shafts. We're gonna need to bring the pa oh G Gabby's gone. Oh, I went to the portal. That's fine. Oh, and I didn't line this up properly. Dingus, my dangus. I don't see the chest. Uh, it's, it's like gold trimmed. Oh, it doesn't look like chests that I'm used to. Yeah, there's nothing great. Oh, there's obsidian in there. That's handy. We don't have a lot of obsidian. Oh, I'm right. coming back. Yep. And just dump your loot in any chest you want. Because we are not organized. Oh, I'll just hold on to it for now. Also an, also an acceptable thing to do. So we got these cog wheels. Yes. Yes, we do. Oh! What? What did you do? Fire why charged. Did, why did you light it on fire? I didn't mean to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what you get for lighting it on fire. So what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to. Dig down a little bit just beneath this. Um, and then go figure out how to get the power on the rotationals. Ow. D did you just take damage? Yeah, I fell into the hole. Oh, no. 
Uh, do you have a shovel on you? No. Looks like we're digging by hand. Also, do you hear the sound effects you get when you're in caves? Yeah. I like it. It's cool. <laughs> nope, that's fine. Yeah, don't wanna take that out. Yeah. Okay. We All found right, what we were so looking for. We're gonna need to bring the shafts down. And if I am correct, all we should need to do is hook up some belts. What? Uh, like conveyor belts. Oh. Yeah. Not like the belts that hold your pants up. No, I, I was just confused because, yeah. Well, I mean, you see how this mod works. It's all like it, it's it's you, you build the stuff. You don't just thought thoughts about it. it. It's I don't know. I I love create. It's I just I have so much fun with it. Belts was not what I was thinking. That's yeah. all. Normally, it's made from dried kelp. This pack made it a lot harder because now you need rubber. Luckily, they do have a way to get rubber. That's relatively easy. The arboreal extractor and a mechanical press, which I already set up in an earlier episode. Yay. Oh, I just realized something we have to do before we do this. Uh, luckily, that? I've got wood on me, so I can, so I can do it. We're going to need some chests. Okay, I can make a few chests. Well, uh, you already gave me the wood I needed. Oh. I, I still had some wood on me. You got a lot of wood. Yeah. Why did you slime that? Why did I what that? Oh, Why did you slime glue? it? Uh, because oh. otherwise it won't stick to it. Hmm. It looked like slime. It, it is. It's made with slime. Hmm. Let's see how far this thing stretches. Oh, All it's doing something. It's harvesting. The chests became single chests. Uh, that's not a huge deal. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna time it just right so that way it... It doesn't get these corner ones. I'm not super concerned about that. Like, we've got enough plants here that it'll last us a good long while. So the chests remain a single chest. And that's okay. Uh, we can live with that. So now, what we're going to want to do is you s Oh, it didn't, you need to glue those on. I see. Glue what? Uh, these things, the portable storage interfaces. Oh no. Uh, do you want to? You want to go sleep? I'm gonna keep testing up here. I suppose. Ow. Yeah, we should add ladders or something. All right, so these are no, slightly I'm... too close. Yes! It works! So, did you... Were you able to see how the portable storage interface connected? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it with the glue. Well, no, how, how like, they... Oh! Yeah. I didn't... All right. So now what we want to do is we want to find a way to transport this to a more accessible spot. How do you, like, look at the... 
Uh, you have to automate it. Mm, okay. Interesting. All right. So let's see which way our rotational force rotates in the Tation. It rotates clockwise. Well, I mean, whoops. Did I? I dingered the dang. Yeah, we might want to replant at some point, but... Oh, this one's I crafted. Oh, it's moving counterclockwise now. It is. It is. Why did it switch? Uh, because I put a gearbox down. And gearboxes, if they just go straight, reverse the direction. Okay, well, now it's clockwise. Yeah, because I had another, another gearbox. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if the gearbox is moving... This one's counterclockwise. This one's clockwise. This one's clockwise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a conveyor belt beneath... Did you know, did you know some people call it anti-clockwise? Well, some people are wrong. <laughs> We're going to want to lower this slightly. We might also want to speed it up. Just to have the speed of a demon. So let's see. You know how gears work to speed up, right? No. Not uh, a large gear to a small gear will speed it up. And a small gear to a large gear will slow it down. Okay. Just like in real science. My inventory is far too full. Yeah. I got a check. Alright, so if I put another belt down here... So, all we should need to do is put chutes on here, and that'll bring it over to here, where we can do another chute to put it in a chest. Aw, oh, shoot. Get out of here. No. <laughs> Bad. So let's, I'm going to whip up a few more chests. And then we should have some chutes downstairs. I'll also need to clean up my inventory a little bit because it's a mess. I just heard you take damage. Are you jumping down? Are you being yeah, irresponsible? Yeah, I, I took kind of a hard damage. It was like barely too tall. Yeah. Um. So the shoots are similar to hoppers, only they work much faster and much less precisely. Uh, to make them, you need anti alloy and iron sheets. Can you grab that iron there? So to use the mechanical press with the hand crank, put the iron on this depot. Here, let me give you a, a footstool. So put it there. And then you oh, right click the hand crank. So, it does not process them all at once. It processes them one at a time. But, yeah. So, and what we could, in theory, do is just hook them up and just keep running it down and down and down. Until eventually it hits our, uh, yeah, it hits the base. Yeah, because we're already accumulating resources. I made ten iron sheets. Yay. That's good.
But yeah, you see how they're on the belt? Yeah. And then, yeah, and then they get shoot. shoot it down into this double chest. Yeah. Like a hopper, but... But faster. And less precise. Can you toss me those iron sheets? I'm in a hole right now. Ugh. Much appreciated. Because I need some more shoots. Uh-oh. What? I put my potatoes away on accident. We have more. Now we have I more. Know. I know, but... Those were my potatoes. Were they? Were they, though? Yeah. I licked every last one of them. They are my... <gasps> I don't think that's a functionality in Minecraft. <laughs> Okay. Ow. You dropped me on my head. So this right here is now our food chest. Awesome. Uh, it's going to fill up pretty quickly. Luckily, we have some backstock. We're going to want to convert them into storage drawers at some point. But... Oh, and we're definitely going to want to seal off the ceiling so that way bad guys don't come down here. Bad guys with attitude. But we now have an automated farm for, uh, like, carrots and onions and potatoes and flax. Beetroot. We do not have beetroots. Uh, we don't no. really need beetroots for much, but I'll tell you what we do need. We could use some rice. Ah. Uh, yeah, because that'll let us automate straw. Yeah, it did get kind of messed up by them getting made into solid blocks a couple times. But that's not the end of the world. Alright, so that will... Hey help keep us fed for eternity. Yay. I bet the chest is already full. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, I'll cook some potatoes for you. I, I have potatoes. I'm I have cooking 36, more. So. More. more. Potato. Uh, potatoes potato. going to watch this. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, and we can do a similar thing with kelp, which we're definitely going to need to do. Because we're going to need a lot of kelp. Oh, we need kelp for Uh, check the recipe for andesite alloy. And, uh, oh, and, uh, and, eh, I, I don't know how to spell andesite. A-N-D-E. E. e. Why do we need the andesite alloy? It is used for heckin' everything in Create. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, yeah, like if you look at the quest book in Chapter 1, it recommends automating sand, kelp, andesite, and wood. We have clay kind or sand kind of automated with these strainers over here. Each one produces 300 sand or clay but yeah we we still got a ways to go because trust me we're gonna want to have this stuff automated will this fan push me yes oh i you just put it in the drawer down there drawer, drawer. oh i see yeah i got a piece of gravel though uh, you can wash it over here. Wash. Wash, 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 Second wash. Chest. That'll turn it into a chest. Uh, why did they give me chest. more things? I want more things. I just washed it off. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, so yeah. We've gone for about half an hour now. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. 
Uh, I'll play some more with Gabby. We'll see what we do for next episode. I might do the kelp off camera, because that's basically the same as what's up there, just less complicated. And, see you guys later. Bye!